Hello, wonderful person. This is Anton, and welcome to a vehicle. A what? A vehicle? Why am I in a vehicle? You may ask. Isn't this a channel where we do only education, only space sciences, only sciences and math? And for some reason, I am in a vehicle that is actually driving away from me. Well, uh, this is what we're actually going to be taking a look at today. This is um, a very interesting simulation slash sandbox, um, I guess you can call it almost a game, known as Altera. And specifically, this is actually a demo known as Anti-World 16.7057. Uh, That's the version, of course. And my vehicle is driving away from me really, really fast. This simulation right here is absolutely incredible. I'm going to show it to you. Uh, in more detail as we go through this and this is actually a free demo that they can download in the link in the description below now look at that vehicle go i'm gonna try to shoot it down that's right you can actually shoot things in this game isn't that brilliant anyway so we're going to actually oh i got it i got it i hit it uh, we can actually spawn a variety of vehicles even in the demo version um which will basically create um them right on the spot here so i can go in here and choose um so this is only a full version. I'm gonna choose one of these uh, Cessna uh, airplanes. And there we go. And now we're gonna try to fly around or at least take off or possibly maybe try this again uh, from a little, little bit of higher altitude because I, I don't wanna take off. And it's a lot easier if I just do it from here. So here we go, Cessna and three, two, one and fly. Okay, dokie. Well, that's clearly not working as I planned. Oh, maybe it will work. Maybe we might actually fly. Yay, look at that, it's working. Anyway, so this uh, incredible sandbox simulation has actually been in development by uh, an indie um, Slovakian company since 2008, so basically for like eight years. And they've developed this absolutely incredible, very realistic Earth simulator. Now, they actually don't just have Earth, they also have um, an, a, some kind of a mysterious planet that you can actually land on and try to terraform. And you can uh, essentially do a lot of things here. Let me just get out of the airplane for a second. You can basically uh, build things. There's actually objects you can build uh, in the full version of the game, which only costs about $15. You can build roads. You have things like um, uh, vehicles, ships, aircraft. Uh, there's not that many yet, but there's definitely more coming uh, in the future. And there's also mods for this game that you can actually download from their website. But the coolest thing is that this is actually a very realistic recreation of our planet Earth. As a matter of fact, it's all based on Google Maps. I can go under locations here and you can see I'm currently in South Korea, where basically I actually do live. Uh, but I can go into this ocean, for example. It will download a few files right away. And look at that. I'm now going to be in the water. And here we go. This is actually the water. Um, you can also go underwater. You can basically you know, shoot the water and you can swim underwater. And it's obviously very, very dark. Um, this is actually... Uh, it's planned to be an actual video game where you basically will be colonizing a planet um, in the future of the human race. And uh, currently it's more of a sandbox game where you can actually switch between different modes, gravity mode, flight mode, normal mode. And you can, of course, even um, escape into space. Now, this is why I wanted to take a look at this particular simulation is because you can actually go to space. And I'm going to do this right now by going, let's just choose a random location somewhere in China, for example. As you can see, we'll actually start downloading files. Uh, these are based on uh, Google Maps. So if the Google map of your area is very accurate, you'll actually have very realistic areas. And if it's not very accurate, then you'll have not very realistic area. But this seems to be a desert in China. That's cool, right? Uh, so let's, uh, let's see if we can actually maybe go to um, a location a little bit above China. Right, right there. So as you can see, we're now above Earth. Um, we're going to move a little bit farther away, actually. And look at that. Look at this beauty. You get to see the entire planet. Um, obviously, it starts downloading stuff right away. But their goal is to eventually create um, the entire solar system. And right now, they're working on Mars, which is, I mean, to me, that's absolutely brilliant. Um, and uh, this particular company has even received um, some kind of a special agreement from the military where they, they try to develop a military simulation based on this particular, um, I guess you can call it game, but not really game. I guess it's more of a terrestrial simulation. And I believe uh, this is, um, is this Indonesia? Yeah, this is definitely Indonesia. Uh, so uh, let's uh, let's let go of uh, let's do gravity mode uh, or normal mode, and let's try to basically return back to the planet. And right now we're really, 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 really high above the ground. Um, we're gonna try to slowly fall down. As you can see, we're slowly approaching Earth. Actually, maybe this is a little bit too slow. Let's move a little bit closer. 
Let's move a little bit closer and maybe fall down from here instead. We're going to fall down to the planet. Or actually, you know what? Let's, let's do an aircraft. Let's take another Cessna for a ride in space. Why not? Yeah, so about that. We're clearly not flying anywhere. Let's actually escape our airplane. Hey, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh, I don't even know where it went. Um, and anyway, so yeah, there's going to be a lot of various um, planets. There's going to be basically an entire solar system simulated eventually. And they've been working on this for a very long time. And I mean, this this costs only like $15 for the full version. And you can basically explore it to your liking. Um, there's also a variety of things you can modify. There's a variety of things you can build. And uh, the most important thing is that um, they're aiming for accuracy and for realism. So um, everything here is recreated with quite a lot of accuracy. And it's all seamless. So you can basically just, you know, fly through the entire planet. And suddenly, look at that. We're in the tropics and there's an ocean with waves. Isn't that brilliant? Now, if you thought uh, games like uh, No Man's Sky had a really cool simulation um, and were procedurally generating a lot of various planets, well, you should check this one out. So, Because this is basically the most realistic Earth simulation I've ever actually seen in my life. And you can also shoot things. Because why not? Now, right now, this basically all there is to it. This is more of a proof of concept, which has already actually been proven beyond doubt that it definitely works. But uh, I'm guessing the more support this game gets, uh, gets the more uh, they'll be able to create for it. And eventually, they'll obviously will create some kind of a um, uh, sandboxy slash um, storyline driven game that they're planning to create uh, in the next few years. And they're actually they are asking for support. They're definitely asking for, uh, you know, donations and or possibly uh, will start a Kickstarter campaign and they'll basically be uh, trying to create this uh, story driven game where we're going to go to a planet and we're going to try to colonize it. Now, before I finish this game, let's actually go to a place that I've been meaning to go to for a very long time. Let's go to the, the Himalayas. I'm going to just go directly to, to Mount Everest right here. So let's go and see if we can actually land on it and possibly uh, explore it directly. So here we go. Welcome to Mount Everest in uh, in an anti-world. Anti-world? Anti-world? Hey, that's my name, right? Ha! Huh. I didn't even realize it was named after me. That's awesome. Anyway, so we are now on uh, top of Everest and look how beautiful this is. This is incredible. This is crazily incredible. Such an accurate simulation. Now, uh, a lot of these things are procedurally generated, specifically, of course, like the, you know, when you get close to the land here, a lot of this is procedurally generated. It's not actually like that. But uh, this is the peak of the Everest. I feel on top of the world because this is literally the top of the world. And anyway, so that's, uh, this is the nutshell of um, Altera, and I guess the alpha simulation known as Anti-World, that allows you to explore our planet in such a dramatic detail. Uh, do give this a try. I mean, it's absolutely free. There's nothing uh, that's stopping you from trying this, except, of course, or maybe your computer. If it's not good enough to handle this, it might struggle a little bit. But I think um, even if you have a slightly older computer, you should get at least uh, some of these levels and areas in slightly less detail. And anyway, so that's all I wanted to show you um, about this. This is absolutely awesome. This is definitely one of my most favorite sandbox simulations so far. And I mean, this is such a good tool, even for education, especially, of course, geography, because you can actually go ahead and like visit various places in the real world using Google Maps and you can explore them and you can then obviously shoot them with your little gun that you have. Because why wouldn't you shoot at Mount Everest, right? Why wouldn't you? And here we go. Take that Mount Everest. Take that. And oh, by the way, there's also a uh, procedure generated terrain that actually can be destroyed. So every time I fire my gun, there's actually little craters that appear. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, there's a lot of other features that this game has that I haven't really covered. And I keep calling it a game, but it's really a simulation. Like, for example, you can actually change environment. You can go in here and start increasing the wind, uh, you know, cause rain of all sorts, uh, change the weather cycles. And essentially, this will turn this world into like a crazy looking environment where things just kind of do that. I don't know if you just saw that, but look at that. Look at that. This is awesome. 
the clouds go up and down all the time. Uh, but yeah, there's also rain in this game. There's a lot of other features that I haven't really shown you, but you can go and explore them on your own. So once again, the link for this is in the description below. And hopefully you'll give this a try and possibly even support uh, these game developers by buying the full version of this game. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. By the way, I have nothing to do with this game. I'm not getting any money from them. This is just a promotion for because, you know, this is cool. I mean, you gotta admit, this is pretty cool. Look at those clouds. They're going crazy. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Game you later. And don't forget, if you want to contact me, check out the Facebook uh, group in the description below. Also sign up for my Twitter account because I do reply to all of the tweets that you send me. And now I also have Snapchat, which you can totally find by typing what the math in Snapchat. Just to, you know, why not? There's a lot of fun videos I post all the time and also some educational stuff as well. I'll see you guys in the next video. Game you later. And as always, bye bye.